Welcome, welcome back to another CC Lasers production production. I'm your host CC. Look, I just want to run something by you real quick. A little trick that I just learned today. I've got a bunch more of these little keychains that I have to make. Uh, three more of each one. And I was doing them one at a time and I thought to myself, man, I, don't, I wish I had a jig. I wish I had a way to um, burn multiples of these things at once. Um, I see a lot of people doing that with the, like their X1 tools and such, the big, uh, the big desktop type lasers, tabletop lasers. Um, I don't have a way to make a jig, so I think I found the next best thing. And let me show you. Let me switch over to the software, Laser Pecker software. This is for the Windows desktop. If you haven't figured out how to get this running on your desktop with your laser pecker and getting the uh, Windows beta app to work. I've got a video for that, how to connect everything, how to upgrade your upgrade your firmware. If you just check out the channel, you'll be able to find it there. So I found a way to burn multiple the, uh, multiples of these at once. So take your item, right click it. You're going to copy, paste and you can just paste again. Now I've got three of these. If you're not careful, these will snap together, which would be great if you knew exactly what your border dimensions were and all that good stuff. But I, I'm gonna keep them a little bit separated. We're gonna click preview, switch back to our laser view. Now inside of there, you can see that it's moving the whole thing and you really got to kind of watch out for that so if we go back if you click above it you'll disconnect it now highlight the one you want to set we're already in preview I only click the one on the left now you can move the preview of the single and line that up Oh, I'm a little bit out of out of whack. I gotta move my key change just a little bit. Move this down. Get it lined up with the software. Looks good. Click on the second one. Line this one up. Click on the third one. Line it up. A little bit off, that's all right. You can always adjust. Go back, make sure everything's still good. We're gonna roll with that. These have kind of a cartoonish slanted look to them anyway, so if they're a little tiny, tiny millimeter off, it ain't gonna make a big difference. Quit your preview. And now we're gonna burn it and it should burn everything all at once now each item will burn individually have its own border set but it's all gonna burn together no jig needed this is gonna save me so much time. It takes an extra second to line it up, but it's so much easier than put in one item at a time, burning an item, pulling it out, putting another item in. You got three of them done right in a row. If you wanna take a look at the settings I've got going on for these keychains. Let me bring it up on a computer. Zodiac keychain. Resolution 1K, pass of 1, power 75, depth of 15, and these are the size that I have fitting on there. That's what I found works good for me. I still get a decent, uh, the, the depth is decent, the engraving is decent. It's still dark, which I like a bit more dark than I do the light, um, but you still keep some of the smaller details. Give these a second to go. Take a look at them real quick. And then I'll let you move on with your day. 
I do appreciate everyone that subscribed to me recently. Anybody that's given me a like. Go ahead and throw some comments down there. Let's talk to each other. We can uh, get some information going back and forth about our settings. Uh, if this has helped you at all, if this is going to make your life a little bit easier, let me know. I like finding out new little things like this. Um, obviously, I think we all know that the information is kind of lacking for this. But this is a nice little feature that I think is going to help me out quite a bit. Especially with these small items. Throwing in one at a time, lining it up. That's old school now. These look like they're going to turn out decent. <laughs> now, honestly, I haven't, I'm going to be honest, I haven't sat here and timed it yet. I just found this out. So I don't know how much time it's going to save. Maybe in the long run, it just ends up being the same amount of time. But I find it easier than having to load one up, burn it, take it out, throw another one in, line it up, burn it. This has to be saving time. It feels like it's saving time, so I'll, I'm going to roll with it. Alright, looks like the, the hardest part's done. Should be finishing up any second here, and then we're going to take a look and make sure everything burned well. And, uh... Pretty sure we've, we're pretty successful. I'm just gonna give that a second for the smoke to clear out, out the ventilation. All right, let's take a look. Oh yeah, they look like they turned out good. Yeah. I like it. All right. Well, if this has helped you out, great, fantastic. I know it's going to do a, a, a world of wonders for me, and I appreciate you stopping by, and you have a great day.